Hi everyone, this is Knowledge Topper and in this video we will see another very important job description and that is job description of a security officer, okay? Basically this job description of a security officer, it is not only important from the perspective of employer or a company, but it is also very very important from the perspective of employees as well. Because in this job description we have included many important duties and responsibilities of a security officer that helps you know potential candidates to work on important requirement in order to meet the specific requirement of this particular job, okay? So every job description, you know, it starts with an introductory paragraph, which is called as a job summary paragraph as well. And generally, you know, it is a brief paragraph and it states about a particular job title firstly, for which the particular company is looking to hire its potential candidate. In our scenario, it is for a security officer. Then in this paragraph, very important key duties and responsibilities are mentioned by the company as well as, you know, some important skills as well in order to find its potential candidate, okay? Basically, this paragraph is a summary of this whole job description and it includes all the very, very important and key information about this particular job of a security officer, okay? Uh, so as you can see on your screen, I have created this particular job description sample for you guys. Firstly, I will read the job summary paragraph. Then you will see the detailed duties and responsibilities section. And at the end, we will also see the requirement section as well, okay? Uh, like if I can read for you guys this particular job summary paragraph, we are looking for a dedicated security officer to ensure the safety and security of our premises, assets, staff, and visitors. The security officer's responsibilities include patrolling the premises, setting up security controls, monitoring property access, investigating suspicious behavior, and enforcing company policies. To be successful as a security officer, you should be highly observant and able to objectively assess the severity of a situation. An outstanding security officer should be able to remain calm and decisive in any situation. So this is our job summary paragraph. After the job summary section, we have the detailed duties and responsibilities section that provides more detailed duties and responsibilities that must match with the skills of a potential candidate. And one more important thing, like all these duties and responsibilities are important and generally, you know, these are part of every job description of a security officer. But because of the fact that a lot of companies also have different requirements, so they can include and exclude, you know, this particular duties and responsibilities section with as per their own requirement as well. Okay. Like if I can read for you guys, all these duties and responsibilities as a security officer, your duties and responsibilities include installing security systems and controls, inspecting and patrolling premises regularly, monitoring surveillance cameras and reporting suspicious behavior, communicating with law enforcement, fire departments and emergency medical personnel, monitoring public access and ensure the security of all personnel and visitors, responding to alarms and analyzing security footage, investigating suspicious behavior, incidents and security breaches, apprehending trespassers and perpetrators, maintaining an activity log and preparing surveillance reports, adhering to company policies and legal regulations. So all these are the detailed duties and responsibilities for a job of a security officer. After this particular section, we have the requirement or you can say qualification section. This section includes the education, skills and sometimes, you know, experience requirement that must include in a potential candidate in order to qualify for a job of a security officer. Okay, like if I can read for you guys all these requirements as a security officer, you must have a high school diploma or get registered as a security officer, outstanding surveillance and observation skills, excellent communication skills, ability to exercise good judgment, strong reporting skills. You must also have the working knowledge of public safety, security operations and procedures, knowledge of state laws and regulations, trained in first aid and self-defense. So all these are the requirements for a job of a security officer. And at the end, our job description ends with a call to action paragraph that states how a particular potential candidate can apply for a particular job. Or in easy words, you can say that how they approach to an HR department to get more information about this particular job of a security officer. So basically, a medium of contact is written in this section by a company. And finally, our job description is ended here. I hope you like today's video on a job description of a security officer. If you like this video, thumbs up. Do appreciate our hard work in creating this particular video and sample for you by subscribing our channel Knowledge Topper as well as like our Facebook page. And do join our Facebook group as well where you find a lot of good material not just related to these topics but from many other career oriented videos as well. So this is it for this video. Thank you so much everyone. It's time to say bye bye.